So we can assume Mongolia will win against Kenya, even though don't assume until things happen. But it's, it's my anticipation. Revai, that's a good shot. Posting up fast. Zalaska rushed a little bit. Cohen slips, loses control of her body, and she recovers some way, somehow. Bazan did not did not go fast enough. Revahe. Oh yes, up and under, beautiful. Little tornado going to work. Cohen gets scored on. Revai all the way. May May all the way way. 2-1. Two lady action executed to, say it after me, perfection. The nice bounce pass and the finish at the cup. Revai, high arc, high trajectory, but not enough lift. 2-2. Two -two. Bazan trying to speed up past the defense of Esna, and she does so successfully. Revai, that's her own version. That's going to be an end sportsman like. Does the bucket count or not? It's going to be on the ground. Two free throws coming up. End sportsman like. So on an end sportsman like foul, you get two free throws, but the ball is life. Right after that. Revai ties it three apiece. And now Israel takes the lead back. The ball recovered. Good hands by Nesha. The deflection. Good defense by Poland, making everything hard. Nesha, shifty, finds the space, but she could not get the touch. Nesha is the player that I'm expecting more to see of in this game and the next two, obviously. Bazan just dissecting the defense, doing a great job fitting the dive. For a piece. Revai caught with a mismatch. Great job sealing from Stavika. Stavika try to find a dive. The ball is deflected by foot. Bazan. Great defense, but the problem is, I believe she caught the, the forearm or the elbow on the way down. Everything was good until the very last second. I watch it again. Yep. She kind of dropped the dropped her arm very last moment Bazan was in a very tough spot don't look for the ball don't be greedy the defense was already great curl action for Revae Nesha put in jail right now she's gonna have to shoot it and she's gonna be blocked Zolaska 
And the main thing, the main thing is, Nesher is a very, very good shooter. So she needs to uh, not overthink it. Take what's available and not over dribble. Zolarska, uh, excuse me, not Zolarska. Norovska takes it all the way. Nice hustle. Olivier draws the third team foul against Poland. Levi patient with it. She had a look and Cohen. Diving to the cup. The pass was a little bit too far. And the thing also is, obviously, Hadar Cohen lacks experience in 3x3, but she's not a bad player. So the main thing is, you got to find a way to make her feel a bit more comfortable. She's going she's gonna to find her groove slowly but surely. Obviously, you would have liked for her to do it on a, at another stage than the World Cup. Something that uh, Poland can use to its advantage. Once again, Bazan doing a great job. Levahe hurt her foot. Did she twist her ankle? She's back to it. Mismatch City. Good contest. Legal. No foul this time. Nesha with the ball at the top. Long range, nice. That's a good shot right here. Giliashna ties it, six apiece. Bazan misses, and that's going to be an opportunity. Israel all the way, Revae misses. The ball earned back. Nesher once again with the with the active hands. That's the second time she deflects and gets possession back for Team Israel. Nice run around action. Very frustrating for Team Israel, obviously. To spoil opportunities to take the lead and Feel a bit more comfortable. Revai behind the back. Going the other way. The ball rims out. Stavika kicks it out. It's going to be the fourth team foul against Israel. Stavika takes her time, reverses it, mismatch action down low. Great look, great finish it. Zorlaska, good job establishing advantage under the basket. And a good job from her teammates to identify that advantage and feeding her the ball the way she's supposed to get fed. Nesher thought about it. She needs to shoot it. And Cohen fighting, earning the ball back and missing. That's unfortunate. Yeah. 
So let's see now if Poland can pull away. Bazan turns it over. Nesher with yet another deflection and steal. Revai too short. Zolarska. Nice feed in the post. Norovska establishing position once again. Poland making good use of size advantage down low. They are not safe yet. Great defense by Bazan. Bazan putting Nesher in a jail cell. Stavika gives Poland a three point lead. Poland eyeing a 2 0 record on day one of the World Cup. Rivai all the way. Second TV timeout, Israel still in this game. And you're thinking about all the wasted opportunities, the missed layups, the easy ones. Oh, let me stretch. You see me on the screen. Oh, all right. Say, hey, hi, everybody. But uh, Poland is in control of this game. Obviously, they need to uh, keep capitalizing on size advantage mismatch action they're patient they also have been doing a very good job Bazan particularly with the two lady actions she's been dissecting the defense making great reads the bounce passes spoon feeding her teammates maybe they need to go back to that Zolarska off target she was straight just a bit long. Revai, zoom. Too fast. Nika. Stavika missing. And that was an open look. The ball will be given back to Poland. Bazan, great speed. But I don't really get why Israel would follow on those type of plays. Bazan is not a lockdown shooter. Nesher, good idea. Poor execution on the finishing touch. Stavika gives it up, give and go. You got to love that. Poland does such a great job on simple fundamental basketball. Give and goes, giving simple but yet efficient options to teammates. Bazan clears it, did not clear it. So Bazan stepped out of bounds, but obviously her right foot did not lift. It's not just enough to have one foot out. You need to make sure there's no contact with your off foot either. And Nesher, well contested. Zolarska doing a great job. Poland with the possession of the ball. Handoff action. But Revai and Israel set themselves up for failure, trying to follow behind on handoff actions. Bazan is too fast. She will take advantage of all situations where you're going to be following her from behind, and that's a great take. Norovska bombs the lead up to five. Nice take. Player action. Ashner keeps the game close enough. 
Bazan, beep beep. This time, no. And sharing is caring. Everybody touching the ball, Rivaye. All the way. 14-11, Bazan once again off that closeout. Cohen with the nice rebound, and that would be an open look. They need that. He can't get that. That's unfortunate. That's an open shot. Aishna, good thing for Poland. Poland could ice this game away. Stavika, no. Timeout requested by Bazan. Is it really 0.1 seconds left on the clock? Yeah, I guess it is. 0.1 seconds. We should just give the ball back to Israel now because there is no time to attempt a shot. There was no time. We know that the legal time is 0.4 seconds. I don't know if they brought it to 0.3 legally, but 0.4 I know for sure. Nice nut. Kicks it out. Nesher catching, shooting, cashing out. I'm telling you, I don't understand why Nesher doesn't shoot more. She's a really good shooter. But it's all about the mindset. Bazan gives it up. She needs to shoot it. She does. Oh, big bucket. That is a backbreaker. Israel. Revaya carrying it. Hezi is one thing, but you can't literally stop on, on the dime like this. Bazan, bang, bang. That's a huge bucket for Team Poland. They start to smell. That's going to be a foul. That's going to be a foul. No questions about that. You'll see right here. Boom. The body bump. Israel can no longer commit a foul. They need a stop. A bucket here ices this thing for good. And who else but Bazan connecting with Zolarska. Great pass. Four-point lead. It's over. Bazan will keep the ball. The foul to stop the clock. Bazan will have two free throws to add to its 17-point outing. Bazan knocks it down. Poland, 2-0 record in day one of competition. So we're figuring things out in this group for sure. Poland and Germany in the driver's seat for quarterfinal qualification. Mongolia still has something to say about that. Mongolia and Poland will meet up on day three. Devai throws up a player. 
This game is over. Israel. Oh and two. Germany and Poland, 2-0. Kenya and Mongolia still have one game to play. 